Plus, what's going on, guys? My name is Akasan. Happy to have you around. Uh, we are getting ready. We've been streaming The Last of Us for about eight hours now. Your boy's a little loopy, but uh, the good people at Red Dreaded Nation, Red Dreaded Nation people, they let me know what the hell's going on here um, about Cyberpunk 2077. It's a new IP um, that's uh, coming out. We haven't heard much from it other than Keanu! and things like that it looked amazing but we're counting down right now as you can see we're about a minute away here and the clock has been changing this is one of the coolest most beautiful countdowns i've ever seen um it's from uh what uh cd project red or cyber project red i believe same people that did the witcher i could be wrong but uh the boy uh, everybody's ready to uh to see this go down Let's see what it's all about, and uh, we're basically taking it from there. You guys ready? Hype in the chat, folks. Hype in the chat. Here we go. We are now counting down. Um, I'm always looking for the next game after The Last of Us. Game of the year, probably. Yeah, I said it. Well, here we go, guys. Get ready. Your reaction to all of this starts in 10 seconds. Now. Let's go. Two, one. You don't believe in no fate. Uh, every day digging the grave. Uh, stepping up to the stakes. Uh, city of dreams, city of nightmares, city one. Hello and welcome to this, Hi. the very first episode of Night City Wire, a brand new series from us at CD Projekt Red where we'll be talking about all things Cyberpunk 2077. For today's episode, we'll be starting with a brand new trailer. One of our developers will be joining us to help unpack everything you're going to see. We'll have some news, an announcement hey, about a secret that. collaboration. Maybe. We'll be taking a look at some brain dance gameplay and welcoming back our developers just to have a chat about everything you're going to see. Okay. But there is one more thing. What's that? Media all over the world have been getting hands on with Cyberpunk 2077. Really? And when this episode finishes, you'll be able to go and check out exactly what they thought. So oh, let's get right. started. I thought we could play like it a demo. It is time or to something. take a look at our brand new trailer. And after that, our lead quest designer, Pavel Sasko, will be joining us because I've got a feeling you're going to have a few questions after okay. watching this. So let's take a look. Let's do it. Trailer reveal. Here we go, trailer time, trailer time, trailer time. I love this town, the city of endless opportunity. Ready to get your cherry popped? Yeah, come on. City like any other, just bigger. Nah, mano, not just any other city. Legends <laughs> are born here. <laughs> Women were beating the shit out of that guy. The major league. I turned it down, Clover. Only because Dex is pulling the strings. Good. Doubt that puts us in the same league as them. But we are. They just don't know it yet. But if you got the cojones and you know how to use them, you can do damn near anything. Unless you catch a bull. Even then, you go out with a bang, right? You know, you can make heaps more eddies as a motivational speaker. Yo, Mr. V, a pleasure. So what's the gig, Dex? You meant to come out in one piece? Wow. <laughs> Looks like a mix of everything. <laughs> How about we go over the plan? There's this prototype tech, a biochip to be precise. Job's to grab it. Guessing it belongs to a court. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. We are robbing some heavy hitters. Thought you could blackmail me, fucker! High risk, high reward. First rule of the afterlife. Cutting, baby. It does, it reminds me a lot of, um... on the hush. Ideally, no bodies. Not a one. Sounds simple enough. Altered carbon. He's lit, assholes! Oof. Is it gonna be dangerous? Don't you worry, my boy. We're bulletproof. Get your ass moving now! What the fuck just happened in there? Can't this stop digging. Whoa! Fucking me, too. This would be wild. This would be wild in VR. Hide. Time to bail! Oh my god, we're so fucked. There you go. Dex, what the fuck? Game risk it, V. And you, who are you? Damn. Hey. Fuck. <laughs> November 19th, there's the so date. The there you go. So the trailer contains footage from the game's prologue only, but there was an awful lot in it. 
So, Pavel, why don't you try and help us unpack everything that we just saw? Oh, yeah, I mean, absolutely, I can try. So, um, what you have just seen is only the prologue of the game. So, that awesome stuff is only happening in the first few quests. What the trailer shows you is really our stage, the night city. You know, this gigantic city built of six completely unique districts, okay. surrounded by the seventh one. That wow, this the reminds me of Grand Theft Auto, but you looks are so nice. Meeting Jackie. Jackie is your friend. Jackie. Now, okay. They together are trying to reach out for something that is very precious. They are trying mm. to reach out for this chip of immortality, this uh, gateway to eternal life. Jackie introduces you to. Fixer Dexter Deshawn. He's a very important person in a social ladder of cyberpunk. He is able to provide the player with various jobs and contracts to be able to gather money, to be able to modify their bodies, push themselves. To I kind of want to. I kind of want to do this in VR. But, uh, as you can this explain, reminds me of Arkham, goes but and, nicer. Uh, but to to see it, you have to play the game. Okay. There are an awful lot of really cool things in this trailer, and there's a few that I would just love to talk about a little bit more for the people at home. So let's start with talking about a gang called the Mox. Now, we see a few flashes. By the way, on a side trailer. note, I really do I not like AirPods, really cool white AirPods. But can you give us a little bit more They've never made black them? ones? Oh, yes. So uh, the Mox is one of the gangs that player is going They to always look like cocoons to me. The Mox is the gang that has been formed in 2076 after death of uh, Elizabeth Borden. She was called Lizzie. Now, she was an owner of a brothel and former sex brothel? worker. Right. And she was protecting working guys and girls from harassment, mm. from abuse. And the gang is really continuing her mission. And as a player, you are going to interact with that gang, meet multiple different NPCs, okay. and craft your own relationship with them and understand what they are all about. So earlier on, you did mention a seventh district, a place called the Badlands. Now, we saw a few shots of this in the trailer, but I'd love for you to give us a bit more detail about the district outside of the city walls. Okay, so that's a nice green Badlands screen, by like the way, that they're using. Wide out space going uh, like the backdrop. Whole city. And as a player, this is this part is so clean. Your car on I wonder what they're this is a space that is work in progress. By no this is great. The different families and they're traveling across that space in convoys made out of the cars and motorcycles. And Thank you for the follow, D. Pierce. Able to traverse and access different type of open world content that has been prepared specifically for you to that, get that awesome feel of the Badlands as an arena. In the trailer, we also saw like a completely metal. Is she creature. bleeding we from her nose? Like he was from the Maelstrom gang. This looked like something else. So. Please tell the people at home who is. Oh, is that a nose giant ring? Metal monster. <laughs> okay, so. Did she do so some coke on the side? That was in between those Smart. cuts. He has been. I'm just saying. In a pen and paper in Cyberpunk. Hey, Robocop. By our uh, senpai Mike Von Smith. Adam Smasher is a fully converted cyborg. He is an, uh, who was always a loyalist of Arasaka, okay. and uh, time has changed. And in 2077, he had to find his own space look i'm just saying man sometimes they but do that to, shit. Uh, find out you have to play the game i'm just saying in this trailer we do see look it's getting longer call victor vector i think if people have watched our previous <laughs> gameplays they might remember him but i'd really like for you to give the people at home some <laughs> I'm more just information saying, about man. what ripper docs are and how they'll be interacting with them when they play cyberpunk corona so ripper docs in our game they are surgeons they are like a specific type of a job in the social ladder of cyberpunk. They are accustomed, okay. specialized in replacing limbs uh, to the metal ones. They can basically okay. update your body, enhance your body, change you into this walking war machine. Wow. And uh, as a player, you are going to meet different kinds of Reaper Dogs in the, in the game, craft your own relationship with them. Some of them are like important characters for a, for a story. Through that, you will invest uh, eddies that you're gathering to Turn your body into this tool that allows you to survive on the streets of night. What's up, Battles? Pavel, thank you Make so me much Batman. for joining us. I know you'll be back later. Uh, it's in the gone. Episode because you're going to be helping us to analyze the brain dance gameplay. But before that, we do have some news to share. Earlier in the year, we announced that if you pick up Cyberpunk 2077 on Xbox One, you'll be able to play it on Xbox Series X when the console launches. And just in case you missed it, it will be the same for PlayStation players as well. Okay. If you pick up Cyberpunk 2077 on PlayStation 4, you'll also be able to play it on PlayStation 5 when the console launches. Yes. And that's not all. For anybody wondering, I can't. 
Xbox Series I can't un see her nose 5, right now. But we'll have more details on that soon. Tonight's there city. Before we reveal yeah. our first look <laughs> Clover at the Brain Dance gameplay and welcome back our developers for a chat, there is just one more thing we want to announce. Something that we've been working on in secret for a while. We are very excited to announce our partnership with Studio Trigger and Netflix to bring you Cyberpunk Edge Runners, a standalone anime set in the nice. universe, which we've been working on for some time now. Okay. Edge Runners is due to launch in 2022, but for some more information, let's go to the team in Tokyo. Wait, 2022. So it's going to be a while. I like this music though. Hi, my name is Saya Elder. I am the Japan-based producer for oh, okay. Cyberpunk Edge Runners. What I do basically on <laughs> this project is I am I'm sorry. a fixer, no. to put it in the words of the Cyberpunk universe. We are a game company. We are a bunch of nerds, and wherever there are nerds, there's going to be anime fans. So it was always a dream for us to make anime. When we began this project, we were certain that we didn't want to make a recreation of the game. Cyberpunk Edge Runners is a standalone story set in the same universe. The okay. stage is still Night City, but everything else is totally new. New characters. I know exactly where all these story. places are. That's why I'm laughing. Because it's funny her trying to make this, uh, them trying to make to this so hard by showing Cyberpunk flashy lights of Tokyo. But like I walk through these streets every day. That's Shibuya. Right now, wow, my I'm office Nakano, is right up. Which is oh. one of the biggest anime mechas okay, of the world. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna take you to Studio Trigger right now because we have oh, the opportunity to talk to the Dream Team oh, that shit. will be bringing you this anime. Dick. <laughs> this is so funny. I like how the the design really looks like some old school anime too. Okay. But just FYI, guys, um, Japan is Tokyo is not as cyberpunk as they're trying to allude it to be. That's why I laugh because it's just kind of funny when they when they did that slow walking montage in Shibuya. Cool. I've never heard of Trigger though. Thank you for the follow, Rival. I see. But I am curious. I'm very curious to see how it's going to look, but that's like two years from now. Uh, a year and a half. Now it's time to show you some gameplay of Breakdance. <laughs> this is a feature that you'll experience when you play Cyberpunk 2077. Braindance is essentially a recording of somebody else's experience. Oh. It allows you to relive their sense of sight, smell, touch, and even hearing, all thanks to a special device. Yeah. After the gameplay, I will be welcoming back Pavel Sasko. So it's kind of like that episode of um, our senior quest Black Mirror. And all round lore master who will be helping to answer your questions and give you some explanation on how you'll be interacting with Braindance when you play Cyberpunk 2077. So. Let's take a look. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, Yo, man. On full blast. I just realized how good Arc the next Arkham game is going to look if they ever make one. Sorry. I get distracted. Okay. On you go. I wonder what they're showing. Like, what is this based on? Somebody asked me earlier, Xbox or PlayStation? Down. Definitely PlayStation. I, I have Money. a PC. I don't now. need an Xbox. Damn. Whoa. Who shot him? Yeah. Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activation Damn, she hot. hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. That was wow. too much. That's cool. I felt, I feel the guy's Thank you, real. Pain, his dress. Yeah, this is very similar to Alter Carbon. Hope wrapped up in something else. Like a VR simulation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Probably took a booster just before. You'll be fine. Got everything set up. Let's switch over to editing mode. Editing mode. Yeah. 
Ooh. I'll sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. That's kind of cool. Look at that. Full cam control and analysis wow. So th that's cool. They're using the picture mode uh, version. Like kind of picture mode. But you can run through it. Yeah. This is just like a Batman's detective mode thing. Right, right, right. Plan simple. Do nothing wrong. I like this. This is cool, though. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Mm. Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. All right, let's get to the point Give of who shot him. Rewind. Roll it back to the top. Yeah, I agree with you, Battles. All right, sorry, bad now SOS. Right, let's get to the gunshot so we can see. There's a Blade Runner game on okay. Oculus? You can also reset the recording. I gotta get my VR back. back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the Enviro recorded by the BD Roller. Focus on the heat. The gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And sell the needle cycle freaks and remember people the Okay, right here. Excellent. Let's move on. Now heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware. Just think, one day we're going to be using this against our law enforcement. Black Lives Matter. Go ahead and try that. It's going to be perfect. It's going to be a utopia. Okay, now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Okay. We have a deal today on two flavors. Cuddy and no. serpent. Everybody! So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Right. Seriously. Like what's happening right next to me. Right. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks. What up, Sam? Keep playing with the sound. Pop, 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 pop. pop. We'll move on when you get bored. Uh, what a see you kissing the flooring. Money. Net. Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw. Stuff the rollers cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared. Meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. Hello nice. Scanning works on peeps too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. All right, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Oh, where I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Well, I gotta take now! Fucking head off! This is what we want to know. Whoa! What the fuck? You never saw it coming. What? You will. Right. Infrared, lead. The blinking thing over the yeah. So oh. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision. Then scan it. This is a lot. We're gonna be detectives and shit. What? Wow, this is some next level shit though, man. Chumba shot him. Probably planned to all of ah. got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you see I got night, it. You can exit. Yeah, wow, it'll be your right. own nigga sometime. You bet most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Yeah. So, brain dance is a pretty big part of the cyberpunk yep. universe. It's not just something used for adult films. There goes that left nostril again. To it. And there's two sides I'd really like you guys to help me explore. First is the law. 
So how this actually fits into the universe. And then there's the gameplay side. God so how damn, the players girl. will be interacting with it. So Patrick, could you tell us more about the lore of Braindance? I would love to. Uh, so in the world of Cyberpunk 2077, Can't stop the was invented way back in the early 2000s at UC Santa Cruz. It was developed as a way of recording a person's experiences and then playing them back for someone else right. as, so that they could relive them as though it was happening to them. It was originally used for things like therapy and prisoner rehabilitation, but by 2077 it's become this global media industry including things like movies, mass, mass entertainment, things like that, video games, <laughs> interactive things, and of course, adult fare as well. Hell yes! Now, in we our want game, that. we deal a lot with black brain dances, or XBDs as we call right. them. And there are different types of those, but the one that you saw in the trailer just there was a flatliner. Now that's where right. the person recording it actually dies right. during the recording. It's a nice high. And it's popular with sort of an illicit kind of a thrill, but a mercenary can also use them for various things, and you'll see that in the game, of course. And from the gameplay perspective, we have been working a lot throughout last years trying to figure out the best way how to use the brain dance in the game as a mechanics. So what we have settled on is this brain dance editor mode. As a player, you will be able to run the brain dance. This is going to be interesting for streams, though. Different clues that have been registered on the peripheral of <laughs> Blade. Actor. Now, as a player, you can slide on the timeline of the recording. I agree that with you, uh, ID or LD. Different clues. And that clues are actually telling a story in the game. So, as a player, you will run different... I don't want them to kind of like lead you let you know to, exactly. Uh, ...different mysteries, and you will uncover them actually using that brain dance as a mechanics in the game. Right, this is what I want to so, see. So, as Pavel was saying, we use brain dance as a storytelling tool. It's not a collectible. It's not something where you're going to go in and you're going to play it and you're going to be like, ah, I've seen this before. What we use brain dance for Good. is to give you a keyhole into the life of the residents of Night City. And we can explore things like childhood trauma, mm. religion, various mm. philosophical ideas in a way that you might not otherwise experience in a story about a mercenary on the tough streets. Yes. So we've tried to talk about some of the aspects that we think the community will find. Uh, exciting, I work with a girl you know, like this, while very you're both similar. Here, I'd love to know what is it about cyberpunk that you guys are really Yeah, she was rubbing her nose uh, hard. Patrick, man. why don't you start? So one of the things that I'm most excited about in this game is the characters and the way they interact with the world. We've got this really interesting world that stretches all the way back to the Cyberpunk 2020 source material and all of these events oh, really? and all of those things. But those don't mean anything unless they connect with characters. And so when we come up with a character, we start with their function. What is this person? What do they do in the story? But we don't stop there. We go back and we figure out what was their childhood like? What was their upbringing like? what kind of obstacles did they face in this harsh reality and did they overcome them and how did they overcome them or did they not overcome them and why and you can see all of those things in their environment in their dialogues in sort of how they operate in the world and we come up with that for all of our characters now you look at someone like victor vector and you're going to see victor vector stories about his past in his environment and in his dialogue you know, we come up with that stuff <laughs> even if we don't use it in the game because it helps inform us as to who these characters are. Fair enough. And uh, for me, I, I would not be myself if I would not say that I'm the most excited about our quests. Like with our Witcher 3 team, with, with Patrick and- I really like this stuff with the driving though. It looks with amazing. Us in the Witcher 3 time, we really have grown so much. Uh, we have learned so much and we have used all that experience to put them into the definitely looks like a buy though made. for sure and you will not find really a, a filler in this game like everything has a meaning like we put so much effort into making sure that everything is rewarding is interesting is talking about characters as patrick said it's talking about worlds it's talking about emotions like touching the player in a really like a real way right um, and i just can't wait to out Final there. Fantasy take notes. Pavel, I know you mentioned story and, and quests and writing quests. And when I was last in the studio, I had a look and I saw a notebook on your desk. And I would love for you to show everybody this notebook. <laughs> okay, Holly, I mean, you asked for it. So um, this is uh, my notebook. It says uh, Salsa Quest Designer. Uh, the reason is because I dance salsa <laughs> and I'm a quest designer. So, you know. So, so <laughs> this notebook, actually, wow. when we were really fuck? starting Cyberpunk, at the very beginning, I wrote the, like a first note and it says, 
pretty much something around, along the lines of a, that we're starting with a prototype. And then, you know, I kept on uh, basically noting things that we've been working on um, for like next years. I remember once when our concept artists actually approached me and they said that they want to take a look at my notebook. I was like, what for actually? And they, they, they took some pictures um, and they told me, uh, yeah, well, you know, because we are looking for a reference material for a, a notes of a psychopathic killer. <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, well, uh, you may um, find maybe some of my notes um, in the game. <laughs> Pavel and Patrick, thank you so much for joining me. I'm pretty lucky because I have read some of the stories that you and the team have written for Brain Dance, and I'm pretty excited for people to discuss them. You look them. pretty excited, uh, holy before shit, Before we do finish man. today's episode, there is just one more thing we'd like to talk about. Earlier yeah. in this episode, I mentioned that media have been getting hands-on with the opening of Cyberpunk 2077, and they should be posting their impressions Wow, look right at that car. Now. And if you missed anything wow. from today's episode, don't worry, we'll be uploading everything to our channel. <laughs> this part soon. was so funny to me. And, finally, and you know what's funny? I think they shot that either when all the, so all the stores were closed or during the Corona outbreak. I think they shot that during the Corona uh, shutdown because there was nobody out there. We shall see you soon. Pre-order. No Keanu? They're not going to talk about Keanu at all? All right. Well, there you go. All right, guys. Well, that was fun. Thank you. Th th thank you very much for all of that. That was cool. That was 25 minutes there. What did, so what, what did you guys think? I know that, like, November, that's a while. I don't, I don't have time to think about that for now. Still for, well, I guess, actually, not real. Uh, five months from now? Yeah, we got we got summer to get through and a few other things. So, um, proudly sponsored by. Wait, was she doing coke? Um, look, I'm just I'm just a, Blade. You're you were actually let down by it. Okay, I'm not saying. Look, I'm not saying she was she wasn't she was doing coke, but all I'm saying is that between takes, um. <laughs> Her nose was getting redder and redder, like, and like, generally speaking, or maybe she just has allergies. She just had allergies. Um, yeah, I'm the game. The game definitely looks good, though. Um, and it definitely has elements that I think I'd be interested in. And I, I like the fact that it's something new. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'll be down to play it in November when it comes out. I don't, but you know. As you guys know, I'm not the kind of guy that would be like like crazy sucking off at the teat um, as the days go by counting down, you know. Five more months, three more months till the game comes out. And hey, Alexander, are you excited for Cyberpunk 2077? I was like, you know, I'm just, when it comes out, it comes out and I'm going to enjoy it. There's only a few titles, franchises, as you guys already know. What I'm counting down the days for, and that's uh, Horizon 2, and that's it. Allergies, <laughs> one nostril only. Well, look, the 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 ring is the, the the nose ring is blocking the other one. She's got that cyberpunk histamine blocker in one nostril. I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just, I don't know, man. I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to get Twitch canceled. We got 40-something people watching. We're, we're getting record numbers on my Twitch channel recently, man. I don't... I don't your boy Akasin don't need to be canceled and shit. Insensitive fuckboy gamer. Casual gamer Akasin makes horrible comments about female host in presentation, you know? I don't need to, because I don't need to be canceled and shit. Yeah. Next time, tomorrow, we're going to get a bunch of people in here. Like, hey, Akasan, you fuckboy asshole. How can, how can you talk about somebody's appearance when you look like you haven't slept? You look like you need some cocaine, nigga. How can you talk about somebody's appearance when you look like you don't even wash your fucking hair? Akasan thinks his, he, his, 
his a female deer that likes head pats? <laughs>